So Discord has given us a great tool of theirs to use, their own personal overlay. This has been something for many years already. I don't think there have been very many updates with it. Let's get into it. So about four and a half years ago, Discord came out with their own overlay that you can add just like a Steam overlay when you're playing a game on your PC. When you're playing a game on your PC, normally you would hit shift and tab in order to reveal the Steam overlay. That way you can invite your friends or add a new friend or whatever it is that you need to do. But also Discord has added their own and that was, um, it, it was brand new back in 2016. As of now, well, they haven't made a whole bunch of updates with it. So unfortunately, it looks fine and it's usable, but at the same time, it doesn't do a whole lot for you. Let me show you what it looks like. So we've started up a game of Among Us, and as you can see right in the top right hand corner, you're going to see the notification pop off uh, asking if you want to go live with your game. Now over on the right hand side as well, you'll see a little icon of myself that is both deafened and muted. But when I undeafen and unmute just like this, then my bubble starts popping up and you can hear me talking in the discord chat. But still this this icon is not very it's not super useful so when you want to open your steam menu this is what it looks like you hit shift and tab and this is what pops up now if you want to pop up in your discord overlay then what you need to do is you want to hit shift and whatever the other button is for a keybind what it is is it's a uh a hyphen no it's not what is it it's a con uh, no it's not a comma it's a freaking oh my gosh learn english tucker an apostrophe what the hell is it you know what i'm just gonna set the damn key binding to something else now if you want to pop open your discord overlay it is a specific key binding that you will see in your settings in discord and you can make it whatever else that you want for me this is what it looks like when i pop open my discord overlay now as you can see obviously you can see all my servers you can see the live channel that we're talking in at the moment you can unmute undeafen yourself so that way it's actually talking and you can unpin this so and what it looks like is when it's unpinned is like this so you unpin it and i'll close the overlay and now you don't see anything over here at all if you want it to be there then you need to have this pinned but you will not have this box to stay there over top of your game. If you want to know how to mess with these settings and to change things a little bit, unfortunately, Discord hasn't made it uh, very customizable for us in order to, you know, really make it easy us, easier for us to look at. It's it, it's it hasn't been updated almost in the slightest. The only time that it is updated is when a new game comes out to make sure that this overlay is compatible with said game. And having said that, it's not compatible with a lot of games. So in order to change your settings for this overlay and make sure that it is working for the game, then let's go and hop into our settings. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to the bottom left. You're gonna go down to the bottom left of the screen and hit the gear. And then you wanna go over to your overlay. Now, in order to make sure that your overlay is working, the first step you want to do is make sure that the enable in-game overlay is checked off. Now, I talked about the key binding, and this is mine. You want the key bindings to be something that you're going to remember, something easy. So I put shift and equals. So it's really easy to key bind your overlay, but as you can see, Discord hasn't made it super easy for us to, to be able to customize this you know, dramatically. What they do give you is the customized options that you can make your icons smaller or larger, or that the names will always be displayed or only when you're speaking or never at all. So then it's just the icon, just the profile picture of that individual or displaying the users at all, because the users could just be disappearing altogether when they're not talking. So you can make the avatars larger, the avatars actually larger or smaller but you don't really get the option to make them, you know, 
super big because what the complaint is is that they're really 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 small and even when you're using the large setting you can make them five times the size and then it might be okay but it would be much better if we were given like a slider bar in order to judge it and and make the largest option like super big something obviously we we don't want so that people can actually get a good feel of what they do want now you can make a large small but I, I wish they would give us better options or, or more options or be able to make it even bigger. The overlay notifications. This is the notification for Discord. If anybody is calling you, if anybody sends you a message in a text chat, uh, if uh, Discord wants to give you the option to go live to everybody that is your friend or in your server on Discord. So just to make sure that everything is working correctly, we're gonna go through some troubleshooting steps. If you are, just not getting this working on really any game like among us for example it should definitely be working on among us if it's not working let's go through these troubleshooting tips real quick so if you're struggling to get this overlay working on any screen what i want you to do first is i want you to go down to your user settings go down to the bottom left and click that gear and then i want you to go over to your overlay and make sure that the enable in-game overlay is checked second step is go to your game activity tab here i want you to make sure that you have the game that your computer is detecting that it does not have a slash through it and let's say i have among us running then in my discord i should have among us now playing is now green and you want to make sure that that overlay is on if the if you don't want the overlay on you can click that off so if you still are having trouble with this overlay it's just not showing up to make sure that it's there make sure you have the right key bindings and toggle your overlay and have it pop up and you will see it and it's up top over here and it's probably hidden behind those numbers then you'll be able to toggle that and bring it down to somewhere where it's way more easily seen you also discover that you can deafen or mute yourself this way as well it may make it a little bit easier also guys down in the description down below i'm gonna leave a link to the discord support page if you guys have any further issues actually getting your overlay set up correctly and also if you guys aren't if it's not working on a specific game like i tried this on destiny 2 and it doesn't work on destiny 2 if you scroll down all the way to the bottom of the page destiny 2 runescape minecraft on windows 10 like uh, the elders uh, skyrim the elder scrolls like, there are so many different games that this overlay doesn't work on guys future talks here i poked around a little bit more and if you do still want to use just this overlay the discord overlay on your stream then there is a possible way other than just using a, a display capture. You can use a display capture and that way your stream will see your home monitor. Or what you can do is go into your OBS. What you do is you come into your OBS and you go to your game and you right click and you select properties and scroll down right here above the hook rate. You have an option to capture third party overlay such as Steam like Steam, but also works for Discord. As you can see, it's right here again don't recommend this if you want to use this on your own stream go check out our video that we did a couple weeks ago and use the much more customizable option when you first plug it in it's really 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 small it's pretty hard to see so i suggest just oversizing it a little bit so that you can move the overlay around and that way your viewers will actually see it and be able to comprehend what's going on now what the biggest concern with this overlay is is actually the actual size of the icons themselves and you don't want them to be so small that you're not even going to be able to notice them while you're playing the game that's kind of you know pointless it, even if you had the option to show the entire chat in in a separate box and be able to pin it up there and see it and have the option to take it away or make it transparent how it normally is but i do wish that the icons would actually be you'd be able to make them bigger and you don't have that option the large option is relatively small so if i had any suggestion it would really just be to change that out to give us more customized options or even allow somebody to section out the entire box of the voice chat and and always have it pinned up there whether you want to unmute 
and mute or toggle your mute that way or be able to drag people in or out make it more customizable give a lot of options for for those that are trying to use this because if you have a one monitor display that can get really tricky because you'd have to keep closing the game and opening it back up it, it just this makes it much easier if you enjoyed today's tutorial video drop a thumbs up it helps the video with its ratings and also it will let the discord team know that we need more customizable options for the overlay for us to be able to use this on stream and if you guys ever have any more questions you can catch me live over on twitch i stream every monday wednesday friday and most saturdays and you guys can ask me any questions when i'm live also you can join the discord channel if I'm not live you can join there there's hundreds of people that will be willing to help you with any questions that you have whether it's audio video obs related questions but guys until next time keep busy J-Bone, what are you doing? J-Bone! J-Bone! I'm running away. You are not on cooldown. You just go and you get the kills. And then it's 2-2. I'm dude. I am crazy.